hello everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel and today we'll be looking at a very important um, topic that one in one way or the other we might, might have encountered as parents and it's about how to handle stubborn how to handle a stubborn child how to handle a stubborn child the thing is temperament is something that you know we are all born with so each and every one of us we have something called temperament and it differs from one individual to another so it differs from one child to another so children can have a tem temperament and if your child is stubborn you may understand that you are not alone and there are other children too that are like that so many parents have stubborn children and it's all right especially when the children are actually very young so these are the characteristics of a stubborn child just because your child is particular about exercising their will does not make them stubborn in fact there is a line between being determined and being stubborn so here are some characteristics that you should look out for to know whether your child has strong is strong-willed or is basically being stubborn the first thing is a stubborn child tends to question everything which can be mistaken for rebellion and at other times they tend to be independent and fuzzy another time they tend to be they, they they tend to want to be heard and expect to be acknowledged which makes them want your attention every time another thing peculiar to a stubborn child is that it can be difficult to get them into a routine because they are free-willed another thing is they may have frequent temper tantrums they may have it it means that they, may, they might throw tantrums frequently Another characteristic of a stubborn child is that they display leadership traits and can even appear bossy, probably to their siblings or to any other child around them. And they tend to do everything at their own pace. So these are the characteristics. Now this is the solution, how to handle them. The first thing is don't argue with them. Don't argue with them. Stubborn children are always ready to face an argument head on. So don't give them that opportunity. What you can do instead is to listen to, is to give them listening air to whatever your child is saying and you know, turn into conversation, have conversations with them instead of um, making an argument out of it. So when you show that you are ready to listen to their side of the story, it makes them more likely to listen to what you have to say as well. Another thing is that you can offer some choices offer some choices now telling a stubborn child what to do is a surefire way of igniting their, their rebellion streak so it it, it 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 makes them more rebellious when you when you um tell them what to do so offer them choices give them options to choose from this will make them feel as if they are in control over their lives and can independently decide what they would like to do so another thing that you can do is step into your child's shoes step into your child's shoes look at the issue at hand from your child's perspective and try to understand try to evaluate why they are behaving in this manner so if you promise if you promise to take them to the park for example but maybe you refuse because maybe it's the weather changed the weather changed from a sunny weather to a rainy weather then you will need to explain to them why it is not possible to keep your promise because if you don't do that your child will only see it as a broken promise so if they see it as a broken promise they will not be able to they will not be able to um understand it from your own perspective so it will make them rebellious do you understand that so step into your child's shoe see it as what if somebody had disappointed you after offering to do this for you what would you have done if you had to be in the child's shoe so maintain peace at home with them that's also um another thing you can do to handle a stubborn child make sure that your home is a place where your child feels happy where they feel comfortable secure at all times also be polite to everyone at home too be polite with everybody when they see all those things when they master it they'll be able to adjust in one way or the other 
Another thing you can also do is you establish a connection with them. Do not force your child to do something that they do not want to. Do not, do not, do not, do not. So if, if, if you want your child to stop watching television and probably to do the assignments instead, what you would do is 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 just that you would you would ask your child if they would want homework or if they would like to do homework or read some books so act, let's let there be a connection don't just enforce your authority over them don't enforce your authority over them another thing you can do is to encourage positive behavior lead by example don't say one thing and do another thing so if you use the word no cannot or will not a lot then your child is also likely to do the same so look at your child's stubbornness with a positive outlook rather than being negative about it you understand that so frame your questions such that the answer is yes most of the time so this sends the message that your child is being heard and appreciated so go over that again and master it another thing that can help you as parents to um undo a stubborn child is that you develop routines you develop routines bedtime routine um waking up in the morning routine stick to daily routine as well as weekly ones can improve your child's behavior as well as their performance in school so always try and develop routines and stick to them and um last but not the least lay down rules and consequences have lay down rules and consequences if you watch our previous video you would see where we talk about setting boundaries family boundaries family rules so a stubborn child actually needs rules and regulations to thrive so set boundaries and make your expectations clear at every opportunity so also also learn to ask your child for input on what the consequences of not following those rules might be do you understand that so it is important to be flexible at times like maybe when you're on holiday or maybe they do something good but also at the same time let there be boundaries set lay down rules and consequences so i hope you've learned a lot today thanks for watching today's video do have a wonderful day and don't forget to also subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the like button